As well, I am performance tennis training. So this is my box method and what I use for the box and how I, how I mean by, on my thumbnail, how to move like Carlos Alcaraz. It's very simple. So what I mean by that is that we're trying to create a box with our feet. So I put this box out here, we can't see it on the floor, but we're trying to create a box shape. But if you've ever done any kind of waltzing before, it's the half box. So when you waltz, you're meant to waltz and create like a frame and step back and then all that kind of jazz. I used to do that in college for a bit of time. But it's the idea of you moving across and shimming across, that box shape. Look at Mario here next to me. So Mario's next to me here. If you look at his, his body, look how he's getting his weight out to the side. He's really shifting that body weight. First to get his body addressing where the ball is going to go. He's reading where the ball is going to go and getting a general proximity. Your other part of your box, the other half of the box, or I guess quarter of the box, is where you adjust for the ball on the fly. So if I'm going to the ball here, I'm moving. Okay, it's going to be in this general proximity. This is my box method. I'm boxing myself in. I'm figuring out where the ball is going to roughly go. And from this part, I'm going to transition my weight into the swing. In some of my other videos, I've mentioned about the hip. I think it's somewhere on my left, up here, I'm using your hips, that's up there in that thumbnail there. But what I want to do is I want to go through a few exercises here. So what we're going to do is this is an elevated box. You need about four or five inches with this box to get yourself off the ground. The first exercise to create that half box, that right angle, all we're going to do is we're going to start by going for the, the transition forward. We're going to work on just transitioning forward here into the shot. So I'll go from the front end angle here. We're going to start up here, both feet on them, we're going to go down and hit. We see some of my clients that would do this exercise, they'll have a big problem with their pushing off the back foot. It's not a push, it is a shift. We are shifting our body weight. So it's that shift and go. I am not falling, but I'm coming down, trying to use my body weight as my weapon, rather than my muscles as my weapon. That's where we get tired. So you see most of these pros are really successful, I mean, really skinny, but really powerful, is they're using every bit of momentum and mass they have effectively, rather than, in some cases, to use our muscles to get us power. So, first exercise, what I'm gonna do, let's grab my racket, have a few balls, let's say four balls for now. All we're gonna do, back here, Start up top, and we're gonna to just do some shadows. I'm gonna do a one and back end, you can do the same thing with two. So we're gonna do start up top, fall, and hit. Key to this is you cannot hit until your, ball, your foot's made contact with the floor, work on that momentum shift. There, through. Let's go again here, so it's that idea of down, through. That's a strange bounce. That's one here, let's go again. So it's the idea of shifting, so it's there, shift, and through. So that one there, my foot moved a little bit, so not so good that time. But the intent is the same. That first part, work on this shift. Kind of go. And you can do this uh, with, with your coach or by yourself, self-feeding. Again, self-practice is super important. I've got another video from Brian, who used to be on the channel as well. He did an amazing video on three key ways to practice by yourself. That's also something you can check out as well. But you can do it this way, or you can do it hand-fed, what you want. The next part of this drill I want to work on is going to be in three parts. Easy to remember. We're gonna try and create the box. So we've done the first part, which is obviously this part. Now what we're gonna do is there's a transition from our open stance, one half of the box, to our closed stance, other half of the box. All we're gonna do is put our foot and keep it pretty much the whole time on the on natural step. I'm gonna go up, transition, hit. So before we were just going forward and backwards, now we're going from the, what, the one, two, or the, or the whole box, half box now. One, two, and again, reset. Creating that box, there and out. There and out. That's another method where I'm now trying to create the other part of the box, which is that one, two, second part of the box, dead easy. So the final exercise I want you to do now, well, let's do two more, we'll do, we'll do two more, is off the box. So you're gonna stand side of the box. Again, this is the beauty of, the, of this drill. You can do this by yourself. I'm doing this right now in a, on a Memorial Day, Monday, in an indoor court by myself. Anyone can do this, and you can practice this while you play matches. So, now off the box. One, two, hit, recover. By example, one, two, hit, recover. Back of the box, one, two, hit, back of the box. And most of the time, I'm also creating the shape on the way back as well. One, 
two, bad feed, good outcome. So that's the third exercise you can do, again, using the box. The final part is trying to put it into play. So trying to use this while playing. So again, I'll take the box away. And all I'll do is just try and do this method here, this half box method on my self feeds and try and see if I can get myself into a good position. So remember, the open stance part is when you are dressing the ball. You want to be running, setting, stopping, one, two. I see a lot of players that try and run, plant, and then hit and get super off balance. What I'm looking for is that run, slow down, one, two, transition the weight. Same for the backhand with two hands. There, one, two, transition the weight. So, as I mentioned now, I'm gonna hand feed a few, and that's it, and we're done, this video's over. But there are the, the few easy ways of doing it, and keeping that, you know, um, Carlos' transition weight on his backhand side. Or your forehand, do both ways. So here we go, back anchors. I've got uh, more balls in my hands, I'm self-feeding. But same thing, here we go. One, two, hits, recover. One, two, hits, recover. One, two, hits, recover. One, two, ah, hit, and almost blast my racket to Kingdom Cam. So, thank you so much for watching. My name's Will, I'm Performance Tennis Training, and I'll see you guys in the next part of the video. If you like this kind of content, let me know below. I wanna see more of you and get to know more of you, and let me know if I'm doing a good job. So, like below, comment below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Actually, I'll see ya. I mentioned this in my last video. Wheel of Misfortune, it's coming. It's coming this week. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it's coming, so be ready for it. All right, officially, so I'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye.